So a few things you're going to need for this antenna, you want some uh, metal rod, quite strong metal rod as well because uh, there's not going to be anything protecting the uh, driven elements on this. So uh, you need to cut them 127.9 millimeters in length. Now the easiest way that I found to do this is to cut them slightly bigger and uh, tape all three rods together like so and then grind the edges down, the ends, until you get the measurement you need. So if you have a look on the calipers here, it's 127.9 millimeters. You're also going to need uh, some kind of metal shim to solder onto. Now I got this from uh, an old telescopic antenna. You can pick these up from scrap yards, lots of different places. You can even sell them in the pound shop. And uh, just use the thickest length of that. Get rid of all that um, chrome so you can solder onto it, some fine grip paper. You're going to want a small length of LMR coaxial cable. Now, this rod, because I wanted it quite thick, like I say, I actually got this uh, these uh, metal skewers. They're quite cheap and uh, it's actually a very strong metal so uh, it should stand up well to a little bit of abuse. So what you want to do, you want to get your uh, coaxial cable and strip it back to around uh, double the length of the shim and then place the shim over the top like so and then start to peel back the copper and work it into the end of the shim so what you want to do, you want to heat up the side of the shim it's going to take most heat and just keep feeding your solder in and let all that copper soak it in being really careful not to overheat this bit here and then just tidy up the sides a little bit so what I've done uh, with the rods is I've just ground down the ends so uh, we've got a nice surface to solder onto so uh, it's about 15-20 uh, millimetres in just to give you plenty of so room. what you want to do next, you want to make a little mark where the uh, centre of the rod is and using your two thumbs is slowly start to put a little bit of a bend move your thumbs out gently just keep bending nice and slowly So you've got a bend like that. Then what I've done here is I've drilled a hole exactly 31.98 millimeters deep and what I did I measured the drill bit and put a little bit of masking tape on where I wanted to stop so that depth is exactly 31.98 millimeters and what I'm going to do is put one end in like so and then bend like that and then same with the other side. So once you've got it bent to shape you want uh, these two ends here to be roughly 20 millimeters apart from each other just slightly smaller than your metal shim that you're going to be soldering onto and now you want to actually put a bend in to create that circular pattern and you want to make sure you bend them all the same way. So what I've done now I've uh, applied solder all around uh, the shim here where we're going to be soldering on our elements. I've also uh, stripped back and uh, tinned this uh, center element as well. I've also put a little piece of um, shink tubing as well to protect it to keep uh, these two separate and uh, give it a bit more strength. So you also want to go and tin all the ends of uh, your clover leaf elements like so because it's going to make it a lot easier for the next part because what we're going to actually do is we're going to solder these elements on like so all the way around this is probably the uh, trickiest part of building this antenna
So what I decided to do while I was off camera is to get some epoxy paste just to uh, cover up all these solder joints and to help strengthen it as well so hopefully it'll last me uh, quite some time. So just quickly to go over the measurements one more time you need three pieces of rod 127.9 millimeters in length and then uh, you bend the rod in the middle to produce this curve and you bring the sides in 31.9 millimeters put a bend in there and there and you need your metal shim 25 millimeters although that doesn't have to be as precise as these two measurements and also if you watched uh, my video on making a bi-quad antenna these sides here are one quarter wavelength and this curve here is actually a half wavelength if you divide this by four you actually get the measurements for the bi-quad antenna so here's the clover leaf antenna it's all finished and I attached an SMA connector to the bottom so I can connect it straight to my Wi-Fi card I also wrapped some wire around the middle of the coaxial cable here to give it a little bit of strength I can also bend it to attach it to my Wi-Fi card a little bit better as well put some epoxy putty over the top of the solder joints hopefully it'll give it a bit more strength and it'll last a little bit longer as you can see as well um, in the top right hand corner there I tested it against the stock rubber duck antenna that came with my Alpha Wi-Fi card and as you can see significantly outperforms that antenna. I do believe that antenna is around 4.5 dB rated and uh, guessing this is uh, probably around 8.5 dB so uh, a lot better than a stock rubber duck antenna and uh, I hope you have a go at building this and if you do please uh, drop a comment and let me know how you get on or if you want to ask me any questions again just drop a comment and let me know and if you enjoy it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll catch you next time